afternoon, peeps and peepets. What is going on? Johnny Middleton, Johnny Middleton here, and uh, today I'm going to do something I haven't done for a very long time, which is <laughs> like like an album review kind of EP review. Um, my amazing cousin, Mr. Travis Ward, asked me to um, review his uh, new project uh, EP, which is called God Our Nature. Uh, his band's Vet No. Uh, they're a great piece alternative uh, rock band hailing from from Sheffield. It's actually like the second time I tried to record this for you today because. Um, earlier on, like, my batteries died on me, and it was, like, really annoying and stuff, and, um, yeah, uh, hopefully my ba my batteries won't die on me in this one, because it's really frustrating on me. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Vet Note are a three-piece alternative rock band, hailing from Sheffield. They're known as D-Surf on Facebook, which kind of is <laughs> a, a good personality trait of Travis, I think, or whatever, to come up with a title like that, but... <laughs> And uh, yeah, there are three pieces which features my cousin Travis on bass and also backing vocals if uh, their video from the Washington gig is anything to go by. Uh, we've got Josh Bell on guitar and vocals and um, Adam Hoyle on drums, who I've not met yet, but he seems like a really cool guy and I hope to meet him one day. So. Um, the play, the play two Noble gigs at West Street Live and um, the Washington in Sheffield. Um, just like kind of like a disclaimer, I might be a bit like rusty in this since I haven't done one of these in quite a while, but I'll give it my best shot for you guys because you guys are the best in the world, all you wonderful peeps out there. Much love. <laughs> and um, yeah, uh, there's a YouTube channel uh, called Vet Note, which features all the songs of the band's EP, and also uh, all the tracks available in like a cool little bundle, the God on Atrium EP on SoundCloud too. Um, it's, there's, a, there's a cool concept behind this EP too, I feel, because uh, um, it deals with like the pointlessness of war, uh, the complexities of religious belief, and total nothing much at all, which is very good. <laughs> and uh, the EP has six tracks. Um, obviously, I'll elaborate on every one as I go through. Um, the EP was recorded at Josh's University accommodation uh, room because uh, the drummer Adam has like an eight track mixing deck and professional microphones. Um, I think he was taught by his dad as <laughs> according to Josh, which obviously is cool that you know, you can tell how I'm ring a man who can mix your album for you for free. You're like, Whoop. But um, yeah, anyway, the first track is uh, called God Has God Has No Hair. It's like the, the big song the band have been promoting on Facebook and stuff. It clocks in at 2 minutes 27 minutes in length. Uh, there's a nice D5 chord to um, open the song. I actually got a bit of guitar excerpts from this. <laughs> I saw Travis tweet about it once the guitar colours of Vetno and uh, I kind of learned a bit by ear. So yeah, I, I can't play like, the, the actual like, the rhythm of the riff or whatever, but it's basically like a D5 power chord and then drop D just like this. Wrong channel. There you go. Edit distortion. Um, yeah, which is very cool. It's like an alternative metal kind of song. Um, because uh, basically, like, what I like about this EP is like, it, it kind of blurs the lines between alternative metal and alternative rock, but yeah, it's still very much based on that kind of like alternative realm kind of thing. Um, yeah, like, it's cool because like, this EP is like every like, instrument like their own time to shine. Uh, there's also like a bass breaking song which really showcases Trav's amazing epic bass skills. Um, well, I like, like there's like a, kind of like a reverb, a kind of like echo effect on the vocals too. And uh, Josh sings in the more American style because I said on like the um, entrance demo, one of the tracks for their Hero with that perception band, I said that Josh needs to sing like a more American style. I don't know why. <laughs> Just sing like Yorkshire and Proud, my friend. Oh, that is cool. Do whatever. <laughs> Don't listen to me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's it's cool. It's like the song kind of like builds up in tension and like it climaxes and Josh shouts the word dead uh, before it goes back to like the D5 chords again. Uh, there's also some like suspended chords in this too. If um, this track was indeed written in a uh, in drop D tuning, uh, what I figured out by it was it kind of switches to B flat and G. Uh, so if I, it's the rhythm something something like this. <laughs> A reg major, but something like that, anyway. Which I think is really cool. Um, but yeah, it's probably like my favourite track on the entire EP, to be honest. God has no hair. And it's because it's like a really like heavy song, it's kind of like tool esque, like very cool hard rock in metal kind of thing. Uh, the two are very similar. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like I really like like the reverb vocals on this track, for instance. And um, now I get some variation with the second track, which is called Naked Punch. Um, it's funny because like, I don't know if like the guys got this or not, but um, when uh, with that perception, Travis Allband, uh, which I was featured James Wilkes bass, 
<laughs> You're all legends. And uh, yeah, Naked Punch, like there was a band, like a band played with on that date, the Charter Zan's Rock Room, I was there, it was like 2013 or something. And uh, yeah, they were called Naked Punch, I don't know if like the guy's got the name for this track from them or not, but it's a really cool title. And uh, again, it's kind of like a short song, it clocks in at 2 minutes and 29 seconds. And like, and what makes it cool is like, there's, <laughs> it's kind of like a, di a different feel to this track to it. To me, it sounds more bluesy, it's more like the rock kind of like side of the EP rather like the metal, which was showcased by the first song. Um, there's like staccato, the vocals like da 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 in the ground, da 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 whatever it is. And there's also like an, another bass break in the song. I mean, um, what I found was in like the first two songs was them, I'm just praying like the batteries don't die on me. I'm watching that red light carefully every moment. And uh, it's kind of like a simplistic song, which like the first song. But what, that's where I feel what it's good about a CP. Because like, if you've got simple, short, catchy songs, like for like a first recording, you're going like, to attract people's attention because ultimately people want like catchy, accessible songs. Says me, it was like 11 minute songs, but whatever. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's cool. Cause I found it's quite indie, to be honest. Like, I, I know it like, promotes like a lot of indie stuff on there. Uh, on Twitter. I don't know if it's like bands like American Football or Brand New like that because I never listened to them but <laughs> and um, yeah like I thought the variation something I said I said that it was a song you might like hear in like River Island or something which is cool and um, it's similar to like it reminded me of Scar Tissue by, by Red Hot Chili Peppers in that at the end like Josh kind of like vibratos was kind of like note at the end I think and uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers did it at the end of Scar Tissue from their seminal 1999 studio in Californication and uh, it's, it's not one of my favourite tracks on the album but I like the, yeah, I, I kind of dig it for where it is. It's kind of a bit of variation, obviously. If you're going to be appealing to, like, a mass audience or, like, a mass market or, or something, uh, you're going to want, like, a bit of variation with, like, songs, and I feel this song kind of delivers it. And, obviously, people that don't like more metal, God Has No Hair, may be attracted to songs like such a naked punch like this. So. And then we move on to uh, track three, which is called Big Man Has a Stick. <laughs> it's slightly longer than the other two songs. It clocks it at about three minutes, 30 seconds. Um, it begins with a drum count, so Adam does get his time to shine, because I think I said in the first take of this that, I, that all the instruments got time to shine except with the drums. But Adam, my man, you shined at the start of this song, dude. <laughs> and it's, it similarly feels sonically to Naked Punch, but it's kind of like a more lighter kind of song as opposed to like the first track. Um, there's some nice bass licks popping out, you know, which showcase Trav's epic bass skills. Uh, it's similar the vocals sometimes, like da 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 too fast, da 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 too slow, whatever it is. Yeah. I wasn't trying to tease Josh there, you know, that was a, an awful impersonation of his amazing vocal skills. <laughs> Much love, man. <laughs> and it, it sounds like something I've listened to before, but it's not fully, because uh, the CP is like full of songs that I find to be quite unique. Like, I can't really compare them too much, which is really cool, because it, it makes like the EP stand out and like on its own merits and stuff. Um, like the music kind of breaks out, breaks down at the end with like I got a like kind of Pink Floyd esque intro. It kind of all these like weird sounds good on the stuff. Uh, maybe like a whole lot of love, but there's up in that in that middle bit too. So I thought that was a bit of variation. It's kind of cool, and uh, obviously progressive music fans may enjoy that kind of thing. Um, again, it's it's kind of like it wouldn't say it's one of my best song favorite songs, but I would probably pick it over Naked Punch to be honest. <laughs> then we get into Aqua Quinker. It's pronounced. Travis's song, which is again like a, a kind of a short number, uh, it, clock, it clocks in at 2 minutes 21 seconds. And it begins like a bass intro, not like a very kind of like Nirvana esque kind of feel from this. It seems like something like Chris Nova Selich might do on one of their songs or something. Um, again, it's like the reverb vocals, and um, I thought that approach was really cool to like stick some echo behind the vocals and kind of take it from there. Uh, I think there's, there is a song on this that's like, it, there's a part in the guitars where they're kind of like reverbed and echoed too, but I don't know whether that was like Big Man Has a Stick or whatever. Or that could be uh, uh, the song after this, which we'll get into. And um, yeah, there's kind of like some more ag aggressive vocals in this song, like the whole, let's go, do 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 woo! And all, <laughs> not that good stuff. <laughs> and um, it's, it's quite a short, simplistic song, really, in the same vein as like Naked Punch and God Has No Hair. But more in the style of Naked Punch, it's more like a kind of like light and melodic kind of number. Uh, then we got on to track five. So I'm on the second sheet now, peeps. Oh, it's been exciting. <laughs> Which is called, uh, pardon my language, it's just the name of the song. It's called Fuck Off Aristotle. Uh, I believe that Aristotle is the name of like a Greek philosopher. Um, obviously, I've heard that Josh has studied philosophy before, so yeah, it's a reference from him. He was like one of like, the first pioneers of like reason, 
or something. Maybe in the tool fan, like they explore that kind of subject matter quite quite a lot on like Enema and stuff like that. Onima, Anima, whatever it's called. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like the intro, there's kind of like some string bending going on, I feel, because it reminds me very much of like the song Get Free by The Vines, which is like a cool alternative rock song. It stays a similar vein, it's like the last three tracks Naked Punch, Big Man, Hilly, this has a stick, I think. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> and uh, Aqua Quinn K. Travis's song. Uh, you know, it's more like a lighter alternative rock kind of number. Um, you know, there's kind of like, this is the song where like, there's kind of this effect then of the guitars, which very much kind of like reminds me of Oasis, which is really cool. I know that, you know, Josh and Trevor being slating Oasis on Twitter. Whatever. <laughs> Great band. And to, yeah, like, this again, like, a very indie feel to some, I feel, which may, like, attract a lot of, like, casual listeners, especially in Sheffield. There's, like, a really big indie scene in Sheffield, so. Um, the vocals are a bit bland, in my opinion. Um, actually, I think the last song was where, uh, I wrote it down somewhere. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, it's, it's this song, I think. Yeah, it's definitely this song, where it's, like, Josh sings really quickly, and I can't really make out what he's saying, which is kind <laughs> of... Which I, I found to be like, kind of like a flaw in this song. Uh, although it reminded me very much of Rosetta Stone to buy tool, you know, all about like blue bananas and being ended up by aliens and DMT and all that good stuff. But also, the subject matter is a little bit different to that, so. Um, yeah, it's probably like the weakest track on the EP, to be honest. I wouldn't rate it one of my highest ones. They'll get into uh, the final track on the album, everyone, which is called God or Nature, which is the longest song, clocks in at 6 minutes 33 seconds. And Trav described this as that was like a very proggy kind of song. It opens with like a rain sound effect, which instantly reminded me of the self-titled Black Sabbath song for their debut studio album, 1970's Black Sabbath. Eponymous studio album debut. And there's kind of some slide guitar that comes in, I think it, it sounded like it anyway. It's kind of like this like snippet on like Adam Jones' Instagram from Tool. It's kind of like doing this thing on this like board. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what the name of that instrument is, but it's really cool. And um, there's kind of some like arpeggiated guitar strums like and picking the strings individually of a chord, one at a time. And it's like, there's a talking vocals over this. Um, there's a lot of cases on the CP where Josh utilises a lot of, like, talking style vocals. Like, it kind of works in part. I mean, I think it's best demonstrated on the song, to be honest. It was... <laughs> it's kind of like the song where, like, those kind of vocals, like, I found them to be, like, the best. Like, I enjoyed, like, some of the instances in the other songs, but obviously, like, that kind of style vocals really appealed to me in this particular song the most. Uh, there's like some more staccato kind of riffs, and it, it kind of like cuts off at the middle, and then like throughout there's kind of a story being told. I found like, the, the lyrics very poetic, and I thought that was really cool. Um, to be honest, and it, it, at the end it kind of like repeats that the crow's eyes are the cobbles beneath the feet, and then it ends with and I ask myself, God or nature, which kind of like, it kind of like draws the EP to its natural conclusion. And, and, and I agree with Trav, it's kind of like a very proggy number, it's certainly different from the rest of the songs on the album. Uh, it's maybe a bit of like a turn off to some people who kind of like more accessible songs, but for people like want to like have a story told to them or whatever, I just into poetry and this could be right up their street. Um, yeah, it's kind of got a similar heavy feel uh, in the same way as God Has No Hair. It, like some of the riffs in there, the alternative style riffs, remind me of placebo a lot which I thought was really cool, and uh, so overall I'd say it's like an EP guys, that you know, congratulations for, ma for making, you know, props to writing like six original songs, you know, that's really awesome. Uh, it contains a lot of catchy tunes which will draw a lot of people in, especially accessible ones, it gives give people like, a good song to dance and rock out to or whatever. <laughs> uh, the, like, so five of the songs are pretty accessible, and obviously like the last track got on interest to people who are more inclined, like a more progressive kind of way I suppose. Um, so that's why it could be a turn off to some people, however, you know, it's good that the band are exploring like three prominent styles on the CP, like your alternative metal, your alternative indie slash rock, and like your more progressive kind of side, where it's just like miscellaneous kind of genre going on. <laughs> and um, yeah, like, like I said, it's, it's perfect for, for an EP because it draws people in. It's got, like short, catchy songs that people like. It explores more than one good style of music, the songs obviously the band can, so the guys can take on the road and play live well. Um, like, but the band maybe less talking vocals, if I'm like picking at straws, like the EP I found it really enjoyable, uh, mostly, in terms of where it is. Uh, like, maybe less talking vocals, like the Big Man is a Stick, or uh, Fuck Off Harris Total, where kind of like, I can't really make out what Josh is saying. Like, the thing is, like, I, I'll, repeat, I'll rate it, I'll have any songs on the album, which is, or EP, which is six. Um, basically, like, I, I, I kind of like the more harder songs, that's just me, like God Has No Hair and God, and God Our Nature. Uh, 
I, a lot of people will like the more melodic alternative rock songs, but that's just not really my thing. But there are a lot of catch riffs in there, which kind of gives like, the EP's merits and saves it from being mundane to me. So that's why I'd probably give it, like, eh, 4 out of 6, I guess? Like, that's just per personal preference musical taste. Like, I don't really enjoy like, the more mo softer alternative indie stuff much. However, you know, I, <laughs> I understand a lot of people like that thing, so, uh, yeah, hope you, uh, everyone who, who checks out the review. <laughs> And so enjoy what we heard. I hope this really helps the guys to progress with where they want to go. I'll always be happy to review <laughs> anything they want to do. So yeah, four, four out of six on Rotten Rotten Tomatoes. You know that's for movies, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, anyway, at PSP Pets, I hope you've enjoyed this review, and I will see you soon for some more guitar shenanigans in the future. Take care, peace, much love, forever. Huh.